So you can see why I didn't use this seat, but uh, this seat frame is in good shape. Mine, you know, was broken and I was able to rivet it, brace it, rivet it back together and, you know, kind of patched it back together. And this one, we're going to pull out. I don't think I'm going to use this frame. I'm trying to decide if I skin the other seat, the passenger seat, put the skins on this one and use the seat bottom and kind of make a good driver's side seat. Or if I just put this seat bottom, the track, on the passenger side seat and put it in my car. That's probably what I'm going to do. But I figured I would go ahead and uh, pull this seat out. We'll work with this one. And I think some of the trim pieces are pretty rough on this one so we might pull that off my other seat but the track and stuff we'll pull off of this one and that way we kind of leave our other seat intact um, and if this process ends up taking longer than I thought you know we still got the driver's seat in the car so to get these off it's it's pretty easy um, you're gonna slide the seat all the way back and then you can get to these two front bolts, which is four bolts that hold in. Well, plus the seat belt bolt. So you're gonna slide it all the way back, both levers, slide it all the way back, um, pull it, you know, sit. Whoa, somehow I zoomed in. No, I didn't. Um, somehow, or sit in the seat, pull this one up, push back, and then sit in the seat, push that one up, slide all the way back. And then uh, you should be good. So I'm gonna do that, and then you can get to these bolts, and then you're gonna sit in the seat. After you get these out, sit in the seat and slide all the way forward with both of them, and then you can get the back two out. And I'll show you those. I like to start at the front. Well, I couldn't get one of the tracks to move, and I guess it just, just kind of froze up, or. Um, sitting in it the seat bottom is so bad it pushes down and I don't know if I'm pulling the handle all the way up because the seat bottom gets up against the handle so I think normally you would have a little more room to get to these bolts but we can get to them there's one right here and one right over there and we will uh, get those two out. It's right there. So that one, and then that one. And then we're gonna come over here. There's so much so many parts in here. We're gonna pull this little cover off right here. Let's see if I pop it off real quick. And under that is your uh, seat belt mount, mounting bolt. So you can just pop this cover off. Come on. And take that bolt off. All right. Got all those bolts out, so five bolts total. Uh, I got it to slip the other slide to slide forward just a little bit to give me some more room. And this seat is too much trashed. We're gonna try to lean the seat up as much as possible. I guess that's all the way up. Make the seat as compact as possible. And we can kind of just roll it out this door. Well, not roll it, but kind of slide it out. Up against that door pocket, but it's broken. Took another little chunk out of it. Look, we've got a new door panel. 
Well, we got some stuff under the seat. Let's see what kind of treasures we got hiding. This, this seat is shot. We'll see if we can make the track work. If not, we'll use the one off our other car. So what is this? Contact cement. All dried up. Looks like trash. Money. What did they buy? Crab cakes. Smell of this car, they, the way this car smells, you would think they forgot them in here. Little kid's necklace. Small necklace. Lots of water bottle tops, or 20 ounce Coke tops, something. That's pretty much it. That's probably for seatbelt sensor, maybe. Which was not plugged in. Yeah, trim is rough on that one. Yeah, seatbelt sensor. Of course, I guess I should have rolled this back with the... Definitely gonna have to use the trim off my other seat. Trim, seat belt, all that. I don't know. We may use the seat, my other frame, seat frame. This one's pretty rough. Well, wait. Goodness. Let's look at this for a second. So the track, track is right here. We will use our seat belt bracket and everything off mother's seat. We can still probably use this mount. The other thing, the reason I wanted to take this apart was to look and see how this is made as far as maybe possibly um, switching sides or something for the handle here. I don't think that's possible, but we'll see. I think we're going to be left with this on the other side. I don't think this is worth messing with. I think the springs in the back are going to be shot. But let me carry this over and we can start stripping this seat down. Um, it's got good handles on the track. So I think the track will be fine. We'll kind of oil it up and I think it'll it'll work well. I don't think there should be an issue with it. You know, it looks to be in good shape. And we will transfer that over to the other seat and trim pieces and all that will get off of my seat and we should be in good shape like I said I think I will we'll have to punch a hole in the interior for the uh, for this one for this thing I've got another one as well we'll see which one's in better shape we'll go ahead and take the seat back here like i said we may use this seat as kind of an experiment to look and see what it would take to move the handle over but i don't think that's going to really be possible yeah. and the springs on the back of this seat are shot and i know i could probably move springs over and all that but you know that's gonna be a, a lot of work in this corner to fix whatever is going on here you know this is just shot so let's uh let's see what we can do <laughs> 